now we're going to look at the microphones that we use during the service. And the microphones are kept down here. Uh, we, there's two cases that go down here. This is the case for the wireless headsets that the pastor and the assistant use. Um, you really want to keep these kind of untangled and don't wrap them around the boxes or anything. Just set them in there. If you, oops, hooked it on there. If you just have to set it in here like this, that's fine. Just make sure you take the earpieces off. They do just slide right through and come right out. And then you can just slide them back in and they're good to go. But you really want to make sure that you don't take these connectors off. Um, they can really just sit in there and not have any problem. Just lay them in there. Just don't take those off. It's not worth anything to take them off. But if you do take them off, it can cause big problems. So we'll just leave them in there. Um, the one thing you do want to make sure is when you get them all set up and all hooked up uh, that you're getting power. You set the power switch, red light comes on. That means you do have power. You may need to check the batteries. I always check them if it's the Saturday service or if it's the early Sunday morning service. Uh, you do want to check them. The battery tester, as of right now, sits on the right si side of the console, just right above the cases. You just take it out, check the batteries. If they're not to the good level, just change them out. There are spare batteries over on the cupboard over here. So once you do get the microphone turned on and you see the red light, you want to come over to the board. And really all you have to do is put the fader up. You don't even have to unmute it. And you just check, check. And you should be getting some kind of signal up here. And that means that that lets you know that the microphone is working. And you want to repeat that process with both of the microphones to make sure that you're getting the signal through there. And then you can just leave it and uh, it should be ready to go. Do turn the power off and then take it to whoever needs the microphone, if it's pastor or the assistant or whoever it might need be. And then you kind of want to repeat the same process. Well, actually, we'll just show you how to put them away. Just take these off. I always just take the earpieces off and just lay them just in here ni nicely so that you don't have any extra pressure here. Like I said, if the cords kind of get tangled up, that's not as big a deal as if we'd break something. You can always untangle a cord. It just might be a little bit more of a pain. So you want to get that and just kind of just kind of leave them in there. If you can separate them a little, that's fine. Close them, make sure that none of the cords are going to get caught. And then you just set it right back where you got it. And then this case has all of the wireless handheld microphones which are labeled white, black, red, and blue, which correspond on the console with the white, blue, uh, red, and black labels. I always do check these uh, batteries every time I use these. All you do is unscrew this. The batteries are right here. Again, battery tester is underneath the console on the right hand side, and extra batteries are there. You just screw it back together. And then on the bottom, there's an on-off switch. On, red light comes on. Off it goes off. So once you get it on, you repeat it. You come over to the console, you check it. Uh, this is the blue microphone, which is on 18. You look at 18, and we have signal coming through on 18. So that would make this, this is telling you that this microphone is working. So then when you're done with that, again, put it back to the off position, back in the case, and you should be fine. Along with these microphones in here, we also do have the hearing assist. Um, really, they're just like kind of expensive walkie-talkies that help the elderly hear if they need be. Uh, there's all kinds of different earpieces in here, so ask them if there's a certain earpiece that they would like. And then once you get that, um, you plug that in, you turn it to on. It'll turn green if you have the signal, and then you want to show them that this is their volume knob right here and they can turn that up or down so that they can hear how much they want you can also control that from the board it's called HAS hearing assist system and then you just turn this knob up or down most of the time we just kind of leave it at the the one o'clock to two o'clock area and it's pretty much fine there and then sometimes you do want to turn on the choir mics during that just so that they can hear the room a little bit and hear the singing but other than that, uh, that's all the hearing assist will be used for. And then you just want to close it again, 
make sure, see if we have a cord sticking out somewhere. So we want to find that. Make sure this hanging system. And we'll just take this, like I said, just kind of nicely lay everything in there. You get her down. Close the one side, close the other side, and then put it back under the table nicely. And it should just sit there, just like that.